Hello, and we're back with Dead Island Riptide. Of course, I've got Jack and Morgan with me. Uh, hello? <laughs> Hi, guys! I think. <laughs> yeah, we're already off to a good start. Thank yeah, you. I was going to say, that that was a good start. <laughs> Not five seconds in, and panic. Well, while well, Ben gets uh, murdered, I think. Uh, I'm going to play something a bit easier, maybe. No, no, definitely not easier, but we, no, not even relaxing. Um, <laughs> Kerbal Space Program, everybody. And while those two do that, I'm happily sat on World of Tanks, killing people with my looks, even though I'm not killing anybody because I've still got stock guns. First world problem. Hey Jack, get on my level. Shut up. Get your looks on my level. I'm trying, I'm grinding here. Oh, look like Who puts machine guns on tanks? I mean really. Uh killing infantry? Shut up. <laughs> I was looking for an answer. The rhetorical question. <laughs> Runners. There we go. Run, Ben, run! There you go. Come on, I want to stop killing people. What? I'm playing Kerbal Space Program, everybody dies. Everybody. However, I have started putting more safety constraints on my vehicles now. You? Safety? Oh. Yo. Didn't think I'd hear that before. <laughs> I've started mounting cockpit ejections and parachutes. So my crews don't die as often. Plus I start using drones a lot more. I don't remember what I was trying to do last time. Uh, you were trying to get to space. No, I made it to space. I made it to the moon. Not joking. The moon. Um, I've got my base. I've got my like self-sustaining rover. Now, so you have the base, but is it buttery and biscuited? No. Well then, it's no use to anyone. Fuck off. I'm gonna drive my rover on the moon. Rover. <laughs> what? I killed a zombie, but he's just kind of like he's standing up, but he's like hunched over, and now he's collapsed. <laughs> Well Go home, zombie, you're drunk. Fold in the solar sails and disengage with the brakes. Let's get moving. Then it's all blown up. Nah, hopefully my nuclear batteries have enough uh, juice to keep me going. Can't hurt to look. I put a parachute on this thing and yet I don't know why, because it's never coming back to uh, Kerbal. There's a nose cone on the front for some reason. There's a uh, little uh, coupler on the back. Loads of batteries down the side of it. Ah, oh, this woman wants everything. And then I've got huge solar sails on top. Oh shit! Uh, level up time. Um, what was quick load? F9 uh, 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 Okay, interesting thing to Oh wait, I was doing pick locking Lock picking Pick locking I'll pick all the locks You're gonna pick locking, eh? I'll pick your lock Oh Please 
This time it's just broken. Aha! It's still intact. Da, 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 da. Word of advice, don't try to do 30 miles an hour on the moon. It doesn't go very well. I turned my shovel into a barbecue shovel. <laughs> what, you mounted loads of uh, Bernie objects to it? Yep. Or did you just coat it in barbecue sauce? <laughs> I think that'd be tastier. Both. Mm. So you, you've coated your shovel in like barbecue sauce. <coughs> Set it on fire. So it's a burning barbecue shovel. Num num num. It's a burning okay. barbecue barbecue shovel. Of barbecues. A barbecue burning base. barbecue base. Uh, <coughs> oh. Do you need anything? Why can I not make that my target? Uh, Currently doing eight meters a second on the surface of the moon. Any faster, we're probably gonna die. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Might as well do that one. <clears throat> really pushing it now. Don't push it, boy. 10 kilometers. No, 10 meters a second. <gasps> That's so fast. It is. We're all gonna die. I'm casually doing 60 kph in my little uh, looks. Are you gonna start going back in time? Back in time. I have to convert. Get ready, Marty. Because we're going back to the future. Oh my god, that's the name of the film, how clever is that? <laughs> well done, Ben. <Beth. laughs> that was actually quite amusing. Maybe this thing does have cruise control. Uh, I kind of wish I had a car with cruise control. Shit, <laughs> you think I do? Okay, I'm going fast. Don't go. Oh! No, it's because um, I was having a driving lesson and we had like a long straight road, and uh, I completely didn't realise that we were coming into a 40 zone. And uh, I was just like, oh. on, on long straights, my mind just forgets everything and just controls the arms. So my, my uh, driving instructor just said, I oh, need a car with cruise control, then you can just control the arms. <laughs> Oh my god, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow the fuck down. No, go faster. Too dangerous. There's no brakes on the right train. There's no rape on the brakes train. And you would know that how. Because I was on the brakes train. While you were on a brake? Uh, yes. Were you eating a Kit Kat? Uh. I think so. Okay. Weird. Weird, like your face, mate. Why can't I pick up this knife? Oh, wait, wait, there. Uh, gotta find the sweet spot. Oh, that it. What she said. Damn it. Oh, damn. Hang on. There we go. Pick it up. Oh great, I'm in another tier 9 game! Oh. 
Just why? Just, just why? That's actually working. Oh, I'll tell you what though, Morgan, there is a wargaming in, in play here. Wait, how'd you know? Because they've got the wargaming emblem as their emblem. And it says... A lot of people do anyway. No, 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 as in the actual prop one. You can't get the prop one. In the original covers. You want to bet? <laughs> no, I'm serious, I'm serious. You can't actually get it. Anyway. And they've also got wargaming in their name, as in not actually fanned with numbers on it. It's actually at the start of their name and there's an underscore. So what's his name? Wargaming unintelligible. No, it's just wargaming under dash. Um, oh, it just says player. <laughs> Wouldn't have to be a test account or something. Hmm, maybe. Slavery. A PR account or something. What's he driving? Um, a Prius. Jack? He's got himself a Tiger 2. Really? Uh, KV4, you missed it. Twice. Three zombies and no loot. That AMX-13 Ew. just missed me with an entire magazine. What a dick. <laughs> no, it's right, the IS killed me. Saw that oh. one coming. That was so horrible. You saw what coming? No, I just got exploded. It did. Exploded. Did, 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 did. Yes. Explosions. Many, many explosions. <clears throat> I just heard something unzip. Sorry. <laughs> Jack, now is not the time, please. Yeah. Uh, slowly cruising across the surface of the moon. To get a rover to one of the other main planets, that'd be nice. Why the planets are there? Uh, without looking at the map, I don't know. Hold on, I'll stop this. Engage the brakes, activate the sails, and I'll tell you. Ah. Oh. Just had a woman speak a knee meme. Oh, what did she say? Go to the city, they said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Oh, deep so, silver. You, you so crazy. Of course, we've got Kerbal with uh, the Mun and Minmus. Mm -hmm. Min then going from the sun outwards, we've got Moho. Okay. You crazy moho. Eve. You crazy moho. I want to go to Eve. Duna. Which I think is a reference to a film. Drez. Jewel. And Elu. Jewel. I thought that was a ride out on town. <laughs> Jewel. Oh. No, I want to go to Eve. One day. Take a big ass rocket and land on the surface. Just deploy some vehicles. But at the moment, because my terrible piloting skills, I'm confined to Kerbal and Mun. You terrible person. Anyway, back to my rover. This could be sorted out of a very quick explosion. Did somebody say explosions? It 
Let's take a grenade! Kaboom. Disengage bridge. And we're off. <laughs> what? Threw, threw one of my weapons at a zombie and just took his leg clean off. <laughs> Brilliant. Threw one of my weapons, it went into the zombie's chest, went th uh, went up his neck and popped his head off. Oh I what was it an angle grinder or something? No, it was a uh, no it was a shovel on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a shovel. Was it on fire? Yes. Fire shovel. I'm on fire. Well, you better call the fire brigade because uh, I don't think being on fire is healthy. Shut it, faggot. <laughs> it should be around here somewhere. You have oh, look, a slight look. condition. Why, looks? Why you took shit? Why? I told Why? you they bumped it up a tier. I know. This thing should have stayed tier three. It was kind of really powered at tier three. Yes, well, there's plenty of stuff okay. to battle in this game. For example, the team 29. Yeah. Die, you piece of poo. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why it's overpowered. When your uncle gets seven kills in it in one game, that's when you find out that it's overpowered. Yeah, amen to that. I mean, no tank needs front armor that thick. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say limits to armor, Jack? Do you know who you're talking to? Yes, alright. What do I owe that has, like... <laughs> yes, well, the tog is just the tog. And then you got Black Prince as well. And just... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no, 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 no! Tog's just a sponge, he's got so many hit points. <laughs> no, dude, I'm thinking of my, uh, what's it? AT2. Ah. Uh. Now you see, that's perfectly legal, okay. because that one's got the manoeuvrability of a slug with asthma. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. If now I've managed to boost mine up with the same speed as my uh, Black Prince. Just it doesn't have the turning capability. No. Okay, I need my webs back. Oh god. Then we need his webs, bro. There's one thing you've got to respect about the looks, though. For what it is, it's quite a bad Reason being, Jack, if you stop in that thing and turn, you'll notice that the treads will move in opposite directions. Yeah. Which on a World War II tank is extremely rare because it was extremely difficult to make. Yes. The looks is pretty advanced. And because of that, you can't work from that. Yeah, I'm drifting just about. I'm drifting, thanks. Fucking <laughs> Well, that was hectic. <laughs> so. Yay, I am now master lock picker. I can pick all the locks. Master lock picker, mage of the universe. Oh. You know, in a, um, Oblivion, there is actually a spell you can use to lock pick instead of actual lock pick. <laughs> yeah. Bloody mages. Don't you, man? Mages are just the best. Like, Get on your level. Like, <laughs> you're the best. Alright. Especially since we, since we can use a spell to gain 300 armor armor rating, which is <laughs> more than any armor can provide. I wouldn't say that. Most armors. 
gonna say my dragon bow now that it's upgraded on my shield. That boosts me over for injured. Can you imagine Don't that and this spell? Actually, no, the spell, the, the spell would only work if you're not actually wearing any armor. That's pretty shit. Yeah, but still, a 300 armor rating, it's not something to sniff your nose at. Not only that, I've got 200 health points as well. Bro, I've got about 500. <laughs> yeah, that's because I put like a fuck ton of mine into uh, Magicka. Magicka! Of which I've got like a thousand. Yeah, because you used the bloody book. What? Use the bloody book. What book? The, the, you know, the thing that levels you up, I don't know what it's called. It's got a really weird name. Oh uh, yeah, the Archimane Finium. Yeah, I haven't used that, so I'm still level 20 something. Not 81 and a half. Why a half? Well, they did add like the prestige mode thing where you can like just level up infinitely. Yeah, you can unlock every perk in the game, but it will take you something like 1,000 and something attempts. Hey Morgan, hey, hey. Yo, hey Morgan. yo, 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 yo. I'm in, I'm in the super penetrator. Oh, wait, what? You mean you've got a... I'm in the Matilda. Oh, that super penetrator. When it goes through KVs, yes. It goes through a lot of things that you think it wouldn't go through. It does, just because someone welded another barrel on it. <laughs> well, it's about half a barrel, isn't it? Yeah. It's another two pound a barrel, it's just been stuck on the end. Now they're really dead. The British way of thinking. Should we redesign a new barrel? <laughs> no, fuck it, just weld a bit of extension on it. My god, what? I wonder if the force are like that, if they'd... Uh... What about the ammo? Ah, oh, we'll just put a cup of tea in the cannon. Actually, shooting random things from cannons. I was watching a fun film the other day, actually. Jack, you might like this. Have you ever heard of a film called Tank Girl? Yes. That is a cool film. I it recommend that all of you people watch it. <laughs> or, Basically. like, two of you. Yeah, all Shut two up. of you wonderful fans. Go and buy, or rent, or just somehow acquire. Yeah, uh, Tank Girl. But no, I did actually buy my copy, so you can't have a go at me. I got it off the internet! Oh shit. But no, um, seriously, go and watch it. It's a fucking funny film. Basically, the year's 2033, a comet's hit the Earth, and all the, well, most of the water's evaporated. So, of course, as you can imagine, most of the people on the Earth are now dead. Well, Watch that's the there. starting bit of the story for Rage. Carry on. Um, survivors have basically... There's, there's a corporation that owns just about all the water and most of the land as well. It's called Water is Power. Um, and then there's like few groups of people left who resist them, sort of. And in this one camp, there's a girl called Re Fuck, Jack. Can you remember this? Was she Rebecca? I can't remember. I think so. Don't quote me. It has been a bloody long time since I've watched it. Anyway, th th there's this girl who lives with her friends who are basically resistance. And one day, while she's just faffing around, uh, these evil dudes from Water is Power come and kill everyone. And they capture her. And they end up taking her back. And the like, head of Water is Power, who's a complete psychopath, offers her a job, but she refuses. And she ends up escaping the facility. And she does it by stealing a tank. And, seems, uh, un seems unrealistic. If he was really a psychopath, they would have just killed her on the spot. Shut up. And anyway, um, this other woman comes with her who is really good at flying jets, so she steals a jet. And they end up escaping into the wasteland, where they end up redesigning their vehicles and mounting a staged resistance. And on the talk of you saying you could fire tea from the end of the thing, when when she's like fighting the psychopathic guy, she's there trying to have a punch up with him, and she's getting her ass kicked in her tank because she installs an AI core into her tank, 
so it can think for itself. Mm -hmm. And it breaks down the gate behind this guy, and it points its gun at this guy and fires. But this guy's got like cybernetic upgrades, and he it hits his arm and like explodes his arm, which is like mechanical, and he survives the blast. And then the tank points down. And the woman's just going, go on, finish him, finish him. And the tank cannon just suddenly starts moving to the left and right. And she's like, don't tell me. You're out of ammo again, aren't you? And the tank just starts nodding. So she runs inside and she ends up feeding beer into the main cannon. She ends up shooting beer, gun beer cans at this guy. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember that part. To be honest, Morgan... Yeah. The sort of the way the tank acted AI wise reminded me of Secret Destroy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does because it's just the way the tank is. Sort, like... sort of, that's sort of the shaking head motion you got Come on, finish it. when uh, oh. J Bonds came through and sort of s yeah. <laughs> smashed into the wall when he's trying to report the enemy attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just see like Armadi and fucking Rothschild are shaking their head like, you did. <laughs> Oh, in the ass. Yeah, it's funny, Jack. Oh, they've knocked out my range finder. Ah. And now there's a Hector. Oh, tits. I'm far enough today. Yeah, I got killed. Damn it! Matilda got killed by the one thing that it's not immune really against artillery. Oh. Have you ever God damn investing in a sport line? Yes, yeah, so even with the sport line, it's not very. Oh! Just you wait till oh, the update. Horrible. Oh, horrible! Sport liners get a buff. Oh. Yeah. Ben, what have you done? Blew someone, blew a zombie's head off, and it just kept walking for a moment, just mm -hmm. staggering, and then just collapsed. Why did you do this to me? Shit! I'm out of ammo. Get on oh, the bitch. ground! Get on the ground! Here, have a... no. Have a hammer. Yeah, I need oh. to build a ship. I, just, I think I just tenderized the zombie's face. Have they? Uh, hey. I am punching your salad. I, I'm just going to take this out of you, thanks. Oh, I have a great idea for a design. <sighs> I'm going to build a satellite that can shoot missiles. There we go. <laughs> what missiles? <laughs> All missiles, you knob. Sorry, inside joke, people. <laughs> Morgan, should we tell them that story? Oh, yeah. Do you think our it. subscribers would enjoy it? Our, <laughs> yes, our wonderful two subscribers. Okay, so, basically, we used to go to a thing called Explorers. Explorers is basically an evolution of scouts. It was like a group thing that we all did, and we, we basically we got together and we did different activities, indoor or outdoor. So one night we're doing this activity, oh, what was it? Was it Operation Drop-Off? Drop -off, yes. Where basically they take us in the van, they drop us off in the middle of nowhere at night with a map, uh, a compass, and a torch. And we have to try and find a way to a location before a certain time, or else they come looking for us. And pick us up and take us home. Um, it, it, they're not going to kill us. So, one night we're doing it, and I think it was close to New New Year's, wasn't it? It was very close. And they drop us off, and we're walking around. And of course, there's there's fireworks going off because of course everyone's celebrating, everyone's happy, everyone's cheering because like the year's coming to an end. Don't know why you would celebrate such a thing, but uh, letting off fireworks is always fun anyway. So... Because we get to spend... Because that's one less year that we have to spend on this planet. <laughs> so anyway, we're walking down this road as these fireworks are going off. And um, I've got my own torch, and I'm shining it around, and I realise that we're walking past the farm. It's just the lights are all off. As I'm shining this torch around, all of a sudden there's a man just stood there holding a shotgun, just perfectly still. And I stop dead and call to the guys. There's, there's a man just stood there. You know, Jack, what did he say, first of all? I can't remember. Well, the first thing that happened was, I sort of turned around and went, oh, hello. That's my usual response. 
which prompted James and everybody else to turn around. So there's a good four or five of us stood there staring at this guy, and I've just gone, oh, hello. Yeah, and I'm shining my toe. And then he asks us, this farmer with this shotgun asks us, are you the one setting off them fireworks? <laughs> and I, I, to said, which I think it Jack was, responds, what I fireworks? Said, I said, I literally just looked at him and went, what fireworks? And I could, even though I could clearly see and hear there were fireworks going off to my left, I still asked the question <laughs> for some odd fucking reason. And he just goes, looks at me and goes, oh, it's fireworks, you knob. And just, <laughs> the whole lot of them are trying not Please, to burst out laughing. Because this guy's armed with this fucking now. door bound shotgun and he will put 12 Shoot. grams of buckshot into the in four of us. Yeah, so they're all trying yeah. not to laugh. I'm stood there awkwardly like, ah, uh, um, ah, <laughs> uh, uh. And so, everybody just goes, no, no, not us, not us. <laughs> then I become a smart ass. I really shouldn't have said this, but I, I said to him, we're stood here and the fireworks are over there. How can we be doing that? <laughs> and that's at the point where we sort of started walking away. Yes, walk very quickly. <laughs> oh. And it, it was it fun. Just, oh, it was horrible, horrible. Because if we were just walking away, you still stood there. Watching we it spear <laughs> into the night. And I just turn my torch and everything just goes pitch black again and we carry on. <sighs> Go. This, this, this is the joys of the English countryside, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Never go out at night. Or else you're gonna die. <laughs> Oh. Send shivers down my spine. <laughs> I got called a knob by a farmer. Oh, the fire roots in half. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that was story time, children. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to Ben's gameplay. Well, we need to do more of this. Seriously. I think this is the kind of stuff that people want. What? Well, why don't story we time. people? People that are watching this video, if you do exist, which I know there's about two, maybe three of you, <laughs> tell us in the comments below what you want to see from us. Because me and Morgan have got a Seeking Destroy playthrough which will be going on with shortly. We've got another set of playthroughs coming out from various different games, sort of tribes, for example, with these two. Ben is carrying on his current gameplay. Trying. And I myself, once I get my arse in gear, will hopefully be getting an emulator of some sort on my own PC so I can start playing the old PS2 games again. <laughs> uh, literally, post us a comment below and tell us what you want from us because we honestly haven't got a fracking clue what we're doing, in all honesty. We started this channel out on a whim and thought, fuck it, if they can do it, I can't wait. So can we. So, tell us, please. Because we need guidance. I mean, come on, we're only teenagers. We are completely and utterly thick. <laughs> yes. So yeah, leave us a comment. That'd be very, very appreciated. Do it, please, please do it. How's the game play going, Ben? Uh, I'm good. I'm trying to figure out how to. Oh, okay. That's not how you do it. Uh, oh god. Oh, it's A. There we go. Not having problems, though. I was. I'm good now. Good. Oh god. Nope. I am in deep shit. Oh my, I just grabbed the KV-1 with the locks and you can pop. Oh. Why are you do this? I have no idea, I was feeling suicidal. Uh-huh. 
The old Panzer III for a bash. Oh yeah, you still got that. Why would I sell my Panzer III? True. I mean, come on, it's like the second best medium out. Yeah, it is an excellent Se little Second bit. only to the Cromwell. You're looking for Marcus. He's not here. Fucking medium drivers. Okay. He Shut up, you fat bastard. <laughs> You'd be nothing without me. You'd be nothing. Really? I'm very sorry about You heavies to just get but bogged down and slow in. and rubbish. And punch our way to victory. Now look what you have You'd get flanked and then bombarded by fucking artillery. Ah, oh, no artillery. <laughs> heavies Jeez. want weakness, Art Hate artillery. I'll do what I can for your brother. And artillery hates you. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. I guess they like the targets. Yeah, because you're slow and easy to hit. Oh, ha, ha. I wasn't even talking about the tank. Oh! Piss off, stick man. Carlo, it's Jin. I think I have a way to reach Henderson, but I'm going to need some medical help. No, no, I'm fine. But there's a signal. I need to figure out what's wrong with you. Oh, this map can be annoying. Uh, he has fever, chills, and shakes. Yeah. 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 Oh no. I hate Pearl River. Pearl River. Yes. Sometimes it's a bitch to get round the damn map. Yeah. Right, thank you, Doctor. It's alright in the Panzer III, it's fast and agile and dense front armor so you don't get shot much. Uh, great, I have to go get ingredients for some gypsy magic medicine shit. <laughs> some gypsy ass bullshit. Oh dear. No, no, Ben. Uh, oh, quick little whiny bitch. You're a whiny bitch. You're a bitch, bitch. Oh, fuck, Hetzer. Dive into the abyss. Uh, I think that's enough Dead Island for one day. Well, alrighty then. So, thank you for watching. Give you actually exist <laughs> uh, and yeah we'll see you next time hopefully probably not but yeah. let's hope maybe I'll get to demonstrate the satellite cannon I'm building bye, That's what bye. on that note good night bye